Whoever said nice guys finish last never met Doug Brooks. He's a 2014 Hall of Honor inductee who learned on the job in 1975 that effective leadership hinged on a simple principle. Well, I, I got my Bachelor of Science in Hotel and Restaurant Management, but I've been working at this incredible restaurant called The Great Mind Company. I was a bartender, and luckily they needed a manager, and so right out of school they interviewed me and hired me. So I went from being a nice, fun bartender that everybody liked to being a manager that everybody despised and hated. And fortunately, some friends of mine one night grabbed me and said, what happened? And I just thought I had to have all the answers and ended up just had to relax and have fun and let people follow me because they liked me, not because I was bossy and told them what to do. So great on-the-job experience, which is what the restaurant industry is all about, is if you can motivate people to like you and follow you, you can be a great leader. But if you're hung up on rules and bossing people around, it probably doesn't work so well. In a nutshell, that philosophy became Doug's driving leadership style, and it would serve him well when opportunity came knocking. Doug's wife, Holly, recalls the moment clearly. We decided to make a pro and con list, and I believe he still has it, and it's practically in shreds, but, you know, it, it came out pro that, let's go to Chili's, let's try this. I mean, what do we have to lose? We're young, and, uh, you know, let's go for it. It was an amazing experience to go to this place that, uh, it was weird at first, I worked at this place where you had a sport coat and slacks and you went to Chili's where the managers wore blue jeans and a golf shirt. But it was the beginning of casual dining and it's what the guests actually liked. It was high quality food, value, tasty, but casual. Through the mentorship of Norman Brinker, Doug learned quickly that the success of Chili's and the other brands required a constant process of evolution. We were the only gourmet burger casual dining place and a few years later there was five or six of them and so you had to keep adding new things. We had to evolve and innovate particularly on the culinary side and we went from burgers to fajitas and then baby back ribs and then we went to awesome blossoms and the bar and the decor and so you had to evolve just like you do today. You had to keep fresh, uh, stay true to who you were but give products that were contemporary and relevant to that dining of that day. At Brinker International, Doug's career skyrocketed. From manager to area director, regional vice president, president and COO, and finally in 2004, CEO and chairman of the board. You know, as you, as you move on up in an organization, a lot of times you'll see people that kind of forget their roots. And Doug never forgot his roots. To be a bartender, to be a server, to be a manager in a Chili's, uh, he never forgot the kind of hard work that goes into that and the respect and honor that goes into that. And he brought that with him into every position. Doug is what I call a servant leader. Um, he cares about, is uh, compassionate about, and really supports his people. And they resonate to that. And that really helps in terms, I, th I think, of wanting people, you know, to go the extra mile for someone like that because he really cares about me. I'm going to be loyal to him and I'm going to work harder for someone that cares about me. But I think the thing that really makes Doug uh, special is he's competitive. Uh, he wants to win and he works really hard. Doug's the first guy in and the last guy out and he is driven to be successful. Doug's compassion extends beyond his employees. He helped spearhead the construction of a major research facility for St. Jude's Hospital, and he's paid it forward on many other fronts as well. We put prosthesis on amputees, we save kids that have cancer, we make a wish, we send people on a trip when they have no hope. Uh, Scottish Rite Hospital, we help kids that you know, need to build prosthetic legs. It's, it makes me feel great, but I'm proud of my team. It's, it's, the, it's that one plus one equals three. All of us together make something incredible happen and our guests help us, our teammates help us, and most importantly, we help other people that can't help themselves. Continuing his pension as a team player, Doug has always recognized the value of the collective voice. Associations really function uh, to bring all the like-minded folks to the table and, and increase the individual power that a company might have. And he was, he was clearly uh, of that mindset. Um, it's just, it's part of being business. I've had people say, I don't want to really want to be involved in politics. And I said, hey, if you're involved in business, you have to be involved because it impacts the success of your company. And the associations do a fantastic job in Dallas for our corporate office, in Texas, in Austin for our state, and in D.C. for all of our restaurants all across the country. 
it's humbling to be included with the list of great restaurant tours and I, am I worthy? I don't know. I know my company had a lot to do with it. So I thank everyone at Chili's and Brinker that helped me get my name here and I think they're probably as responsible for it as anybody, but it is an amazing, humbling honor. Hey Doug, congratulations. You've always been an all-star to us, so I guess it's uh, only fitting that you end up in the Hall of Honor. You've been a great friend, mentor, and leader for me for over 35 years, and I am very, very, very uh, proud for you. Doug, this is an honor that is well-earned, well-deserved, and I could not be more proud of you. Um, again, your legacy uh, will carry on forever. We, um, we uh, miss you and love you, and uh, congratulations. Really look forward to maintaining uh, our friendship as we go forward, and congratulations on this well-deserved honor. You're a true gentleman, and we respect and admire you tremendously. So Doug, uh, congratulations again, and thanks for being the guy you are. We love you, Taylor and Kyle love you, and we appreciate everything you do for us and for everyone else around you, and uh, congratulations.